Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Courtney Ann and today we're in the Red Hills area where we're going to be touring a brand new development and this property is powered by Century 21 Hefo Properties. All of the relevant information will be in the description box below if you need it for reference. And yes, I hear the chicken in the background, but let's get into the video. All right, guys, so this complex is going to consist of townhouses and apartments. So at the very end there, we're going to have the one bedroom apartment. And then here are going to be the townhouses. So let's take a look inside. So we're going to start with the drive through area or the driveway area. And then uh, we're going to be touring each room. And then I'll be having the relevant information on the screen below. Hi. All right, so this is an open house, guys. So there are persons walking around in here. So I'm going to be trying to get as much as a property as I can. But this is one of the, one of the rooms. This looks like the laundry area. As you can see, the fixtures are there for your washer and dryer. And then this door where I'm standing here, I believe this is going to have access to the driveway, backing up a little bit. This is going to be your bathroom area. So let's take a look inside. So we're gonna have our toilet here. Our basin, our sink is going to be here. And then when we step inside and go further down, there will either be a tub or a shower. I'll have to confirm this information for you, but that's what it appears. To look like as you can see there's also a window for natural ventilation and lighting there's going to be lights at the top and then exiting the bathroom this is going to be what appears to be the living room area and i'm going to step all the way back so that you guys can see how big it is i'm going to have the square footage for the property in the description box below and also there's going to be a staircase guiding you to upstairs so before we head upstairs let's take a look at this back area right here. So as I said, this space here is going to be a living room area. I'm not sure what you can use this space that I'm standing in right now as. You can probably have it as a den or a little chill out area. And then there's going to be a back balcony or porch, I should say. And it's very windy out here. So I apologize if the sound quality is a little bit off. But as you can see, it's very roomy. You can fit a couple chairs out here, a coffee table. And the climate is very cool in the Red Hills area as well. And amazing views. Okay, guys, so the view is absolutely amazing. You have all of Kingston over there, and I'm not even upstairs yet. So this is a second door that provides access to the living room. So let's go back inside. And then I'm going to take a look at the front of the living room space. So this is where I was standing earlier, standing from the back, you have, standing from the back, a very open door concept unit. We're going to head upstairs now, and then we're going to be touring the rest of the property. So let's head upstairs. So this is the master bedroom and there's going to be two doors here, well actually three. So the first door right here is going to be your walk-in closet. Second door is going to be your master bathroom. And the third door is going to give you access to your balcony. Now this is still an active construction site, so everything is not yet finished. But I will try my best to add all of the digital designs on your screen throughout the tour. So entering the closet, or what is going to be the closet, as you can see, it's a huge, huge space. You can literally have sides for him and her. I'm not sure if they're going to be installing shelves here, but like I said, I will try to get the designs. 
and then there's going to be a light at the top as well however you can maybe add some accent lighting if you prefer now in the bathroom it's going to be a walk-in shower and there's going to be double sinks judging by the length of the counter so once we step inside we're going to have our space here right now on the walls i'm assuming because there are two lights there's also going to be two mirrors and then there's going to be a socket here in case you need to plug in your hair dryer or other appliances while they're using the bathroom lots and lots of drawer storage lots of under cabinet storage as well i'm going to open out some of them so you can see it right and then when i turn around in the bathroom you see this private corner here your toilet is going to be here you see that fixture there it's made for a toilet and then right above you actually have a window now if i spin around you can actually see where i entered from so this is an ensuite bathroom right now the shower is almost finished so you guys can maybe have a better vision of what the bathroom will look like i absolutely love this backdrop oh my god <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking at the bathroom at the same time you guys are so all of my reactions are pretty genuine i love the backdrop i love the floors as well maybe if you guys can take a look at the floors right there's going to be a drain there there's going to be stainless steel fixtures right i don't know what this reminds me of i don't know if it's the ocean or the glass broken glass i don't know but it really has a nice finish and then of course they have a little space inside the wall for you to put your uh your soaps and your body scrubs i'm a body scrub type of girl now going back into the bedroom we have one two three four windows and then there's also somewhat of a i believe this is either a drop ceiling or a tray ceiling you can comment below and let me know which one it is i think this is a tray ceiling i'm not quite sure but if you're watching this and you know comment below right the bedroom is huge guys look at that floor space and like i said the square footage will be posted on the screen and in the description box below so we looked at the closet we looked at the bathroom now let's take a look at this private balcony <laughs> so there's gonna be a little balcony here and it's an l-shaped balcony so to speak so i'm gonna show you guys the floor plan and you can fit a bunch of stuff out here actually uh you can have chairs you can have a coffee table like there's just so much space and then i'm gonna come back in the bedroom and then we're gonna tour the other two bedrooms that is upstairs as well okay so once we exit the master bedroom there's going to be like a general or sort of a common area balcony which will give you views of your neighbor but also it's going to be a super cool chill spot because just standing here it's extremely cool right there's also sliding doors right and then when we go back on the inside right in front of me so this is the staircase where i came from that's the master bedroom this is going to be a general bathroom area and there's going to be a walk-in shower toilet area as well as a sink so assuming they're going to keep the color scheme consistent you can maybe have an idea of how the toilet and the sink will look there's also a similar layout for the shower in here is a little dark so i don't know if you guys can see but the backdrop is different from the master bathroom but the layout of the shower is the same right now this is where I was coming from. That's the balcony right there. And then these two are the bedrooms. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. So let's take a look at bedroom number two. I'm trying to move a little swiftly because they're wrapping up now. But as you can see, very large bedroom. There's three windows in here. And I'm going to close this. Let's go into the second bedroom, which is immediately beside it. Right? Similar layout. I think this has one less window. The previous bedroom had a third window. And I'm gonna put the window style on the screen as well. As you can see, this wall is obviously for your TV, judging by the fact that the socket is so high up on the wall. And I'm gonna give you guys 
somewhat of a 360 view. I apologize, guys. We're doing this very quickly today because they are closing up. So those are the two bedrooms. And then this was the master bedroom over here. So we're going to head back downstairs, view the extremities of the property, um, take a look at the living room area once again, and then we wrap up this tour. So now that everything is cleared up, this is a final look of the living room space from the other end. That is where we started our tour. However, that is the main entrance. And here is going to be your front porch. So on the outside of the building, you would think that this is one unit, but this is actually two different townhouses. If you realize, this is the one we just stored, and it has two levels. This one has a sub-level, so it's three levels. So we're going to be touring this unit now, and we're going to be starting with the basement area. Okay, I'm not sure if this will be used as a driveway, but it appears to be as such, and there's going to be an entrance to get into the house from this sub-level here. So I'm going to go inside and judging by the outside of the building, as you can see, there's going to be plenty of balcony space. And that is always a plus when you're buying property, especially in the Red Hills area with all of those views. So from the driveway, there's a staircase. And as I said, guys, this is an active construction site. So please bear with me. So we're entering. This is going to be space number one. Right, I don't think this will be a bedroom. I think this is going to be a living room area. Yep, I was correct. So, back here will most likely be a kitchen. You see those pipe fixtures there? And then, standing from the back, this place is huge, honestly. <laughs> like, there's enough to fit living, dining, and kitchen here. I'm wondering if this is going to have some sort of skylight. Let's find out. Let me see. Okay, not seeing a skylight, but I don't know if, uh, oh, they're gonna put the stairs here. Remember the first unit where they had the wooden step? They're probably gonna connect here, like a little stairway. But I will update you guys if there are any changes. There's, there'll probably be a chandelier here as well. You see how long that cord is? And that's probably gonna be the bathroom upstairs like in the previous unit so we're gonna have our entrance here we're gonna have another entrance here or maybe a glass door hmm comment below what you guys think I think maybe this will be the door and then this will be the the glass area here like in the previous unit I think I had said that there were sliding doors um just to correct that information it's not because I checked and then here is going to be one of your balcony areas, spacious. I honestly don't think I've seen a property in a while with such large balcony. And if you look out into the open, you're going to be seeing all of things. And I think that's an amazing view, especially if these trees are cleared. Whether it's cleared or not, the views are going to be amazing. So we're going to head back. This is where we came from. And then here is going to be your guest bathroom. So let me just step back. So that's the staircase from the driveway, right? And then as you come up, the living room area is here. Guest bathroom is going to be right here. It could be like a small powder room. There's not space for a shower, just a sink and maybe the toilet there, right? And then here is going to be similar to that den area that I described in the other unit. And then there's, there'll probably be a doorway here. Let me step back so you guys can see. Don't know if you guys remember the beginning of the tour, 
there was a door at the back where the den was and I was outside chilling having some breeze so you can probably fit two chairs and a coffee table here I think this is where we came from that's that huge balcony that I mentioned just take a look what's going to be inside here guessing this is going to be your laundry room definitely looks like a laundry room with these fixtures here there's going to be a staircase as well to go outside in the backyard okay so we have the driveway we have the balcony area we have the bathroom area right gonna have the den back balcony i don't think we're going to get to view upstairs simply because this hey guys so as i was saying i don't think we will be able to see the top level because the stairs is not yet built and i'm very clumsy so i don't want to climb a ladder and fall on camera so just to recap i'm standing on the uh sub level development so it's going to be two houses adjoined two houses two tone houses the first one that we viewed is a two level property and then this one behind me is going to be sub level so we have the basement there middle and then up top uh, so as i mentioned we have one bedroom apartments on the complex that is still far into construction so i don't think i can tour that today but then we have three tone houses all of the relevant details will be in the description box below. Contact Miss Nadine Neal, or you can reach out to me by filling out the form in the description box. It will allow us to keep in touch for real estate updates. Any questions you might have regarding real estate, fill out that form below and let's keep in touch. Don't forget to subscribe to the video, guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.